Tonight, we can show you what dozens of first responders from our area are doing in New York and New Jersey. And they're helping out in the wake of Hurricane Sandy, and Artina Shively is the only local reporter on the ground downstate. She reports from Freeport, Long Island. All day pride, we're going to be looking for copies to volunteer. Some of these men and women are running on little to no sleep. Some are suffering in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. All are firefighters, and eight are from Monroe County. They're temporarily taking orders from a new boss who desperately needs their help. We've had major storms before, but nothing, nothing can compare to what we just experienced with Sandy. Since they made the 400-mile trip early Wednesday morning, they've gone on all kinds of calls, from house fires to hazmat. You guys know all about the power. Your breakers are all good. Today, they went door-to-door -to, -door to check on businesses and families like the Lees. Uh, three and a half feet of water in the house. Uh, it's not livable. We're the storm surge from Sandy was strong enough to knock over her refrigerator and send her dock into her side yard. We've never seen water like this. My family's been here 80 years. A family connection makes the devastation really hit home for one of the firefighters. He stopped to check in on his cousin's fish market, also in Freeport, also destroyed, and also here 80 years. And it's just tough. I mean, you see the devastation that everyone's going through, but it's a little bit more personal when uh, you have family involved. Wearing his father's World War II flag around his neck, this man begged the North Greece firefighters for help. Sandy tangled another flag he cherished from Vietnam around a power line, and he was overjoyed to get it back. We're gonna make it, because we're Americans, God us America. The North Greece group and another group from Henrietta plan to be here until at least Saturday to help out with the effort. In Freeport, Tina Shively, News 8.